questions and uh, I would defer those to the head coach right away. So how's that for an opening <laughs> rebuttal? But uh, I just think right now it's probably too early to, to determine all those things. Um, right now we need to focus on the immediate future, which is you know getting our 2017 class figured out uh, and finished up. And then we'll, we'll move on and we'll address all those things at, at the proper time. But uh, you know what I would tell you is my, my number one concern is doing whatever it takes to help Iowa football be successful and win. Uh, and that's what my focus will be on in the immediate future. I know, Brian, I know when your dad came here 17, or 18, 19 years ago now, he came with a big with plan. Did you, I don't know, applying for this job, was it that kind of a thing? Did you have to apply? Did you have to show your dad a plan for what you what you believe the offense will be? You know, we've worked hand in hand now for five years. Um, and uh, again, like I said, I, I think you gotta go back and you gotta look at the history of this program. Um, and I mean the program that's in existence since 1999. and. Uh, We've had ups, we've had downs, and uh, I think you know when you look at us offensively and, and what we need to do moving forward, um, we have to do whatever it takes to win. And, and I know that's not always a popular answer. I don't think you can look at statistics on a year-to-year -year basis. Every team's different, every, every, every year is different, and every game is different. Um, so as far as an overarching plan, you know, I, I think uh, he would be the first one to tell you that everything here is gonna start up front and winning the line of scrimmage and running the football. And then after that, you know, how, how do you best complement that moving forward? Brian, you mentioned recruiting a minute ago. How do you get recruits excited about the passing game and wanting to come here? You know, throwing football wasn't that easy this year. Sure. What you tell them what well, I'd say they have tremendous opportunity. I'd start there. Um, but I think it's, it's how do you get anybody excited about coming here and playing at the University of Iowa. It's pretty simple. Uh, you know, do you want to get a college degree? Yes. Okay, good. Well, we can help you with that. Do you want to play football at a championship level? Do you want to compete for Big Ten championships? Okay, well, we can help you with that. Uh, and then do you want to play in the National Football League? Because we can help you with that. We have a proven track record. Um, do you want to play in front of 70,000 fans every week? Um, there's a lot of good things we can tell you. Know, certainly, offensively, we didn't execute to the standard that, that we hoped to this year at all times. Um, there was some good mixed in with the bad. I, you know, I think it's hard to win eight games with all bad. Um, but as far as getting guys excited to play, I think you sell them on opportunity uh, and what we intend to do moving forward. What do you want to do to get more out of the passing game so that that wasn't where you guys wanted it for most of the season? Sure. Well, you know, I think that's a good question. I wish I had a better answer at this exact moment. I think what we need to do is go back and reevaluate everything we've done um, and start there. And uh, when we evaluate that, whether it's personnel, schemes, how we're doing things, just, just like we do in any facet, we'll do the same thing in the run game. Um, and what's our best what's our best chance moving forward to be more productive offensively as a unit? Um, and, and how can we help the football team win games? Brian, the father-son dynamic doesn't happen a whole lot in college football with head coach and son. Uh, how has your relationship maybe with your dad changed over five years? And now that you're the OC, do you feel like you might be able to voice more of an opinion? Um, I've never been shy about giving him my opinion. <laughs> I think he'd tell you that. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I, I think at the end of the day, we, we all sit in that staff room and we all have the same goal. We, we want to win football games. And uh, I'm in a unique position. I'd be silly to sit here and tell you that I'm not. Um, and I'm taking on a job that has certainly um, challenges, expectations, and a, an increased amount of scrutiny that comes with it. And uh, when you add my last name and my relationship with the head coach to the mix, um, there's going to be ad scrutiny. And uh, I understand that. You know, I've given some advice to my to my family, my immediate family. Uh, my in-laws are are dedicated subscribers to the Gazette, and uh, I encourage them to stop, uh, <laughs> or at least to throw out the sports page, because that comes with the territory, and, and it does. And I don't shy away from that, and I understand it. Uh, but as far as you know, our relationship, uh, I'm sure it's changed. He could probably speak more to that. Um, you know, he probably doesn't see his grandkids as much as he'd like to out of the office because it's. You know, he's so sick of me that he doesn't want to see me, so he doesn't get to see them. Are you, are you comfortable coaching quarterbacks, or 